Let's talk about Euphoria's Foundation Shade 600 from the point of view of color mixing science. Some people are defending it, saying, look, it's not meant to match anybody's skin tone. Obviously, it's meant as a mixer. But there's a problem with that. Dr. Ellis Monk was tapped by Google to develop the Monk Skin Tone Scale. It's organized into 10 orbs because skin is a three-dimensional object. And I threw those 10 orbs into this 3D color space where up is light, down is dark, and distance from the center is how chromatic or vivid the color is. Notice that all the schmears from all the orbs kind of follow this pattern that's a curve or a feather which bends away from gray. In other words, as you reach that mid-tone, it is the most chromatic. So say we take just one slice of that color space that represents all the variations of one hue, in this case orange. For shading, we'll use iron oxide black, the same pigment that is in Euphoria's 600. I'm starting with a random skin tone and I'm going to add more and more black to shade it. And you can see what happens. It actually gets grayer as it gets darker. It curves inward. But remember, skin gets more pigmented as it gets darker. So let's shade now with Burnt Sienna, which is both dark and pigmented. As I add more and more to this skin tone, you can see it looks much more natural. Now, if I'm trying to reach darker skin tones than Burnt Sienna, I have to keep this curve in mind. It curves out, not in. So mixing black is just not going to work. 